to example three, Bank A offers an interest rate of three percent PA compound quarterly. Quarterly means, and uh, we have four, four times of interest in each year. And uh, for Bank B, it offers an interest rate of two point four percent PA, and uh, this interest rate is lower than that of Bank B, uh, Bank A, but uh, the interest is calculated much more frequently. Uh, in fact, it is compounded monthly. If Hugo wants to deposit $40,000 in one of the two banks for five years, which one should he choose in order to get a bigger amount at the end? So we can write down the interest rate uh, for Bank A and Bank B. And for Bank A, we have 3% PA. For Bank B, we have 2.4% PA. However, the time for calculating the compound interest is different. And uh, for Bank A, it is compounded quarterly. That means four times per year. And for Bank B, it is compounded monthly. That is 12 times, 12 times in a year. So we have to Readjust, uh, readjust the interest rate so that uh, for Bank A, we have 3% PA and then we should divide it, it by 4. So this 3% over 4 is the interest rate in each interval. That is 4 months. Uh, sorry, 3 months. And for Bank B, the interest rate should be adjusted by dividing 2.4% by 12. Since uh, in each interval, there is only one month involved. Uh, so we divide 2.4% by 12. And the total time will be five years. And since in one year, we have four quarters. So in five years, there will be 20 intervals for calculating compound interest for Bank A. And for Bank B, the time is five years. And it, since in each year, there are 12 months. So there will be 60 intervals for calculating the compound interest. And now we have a full analysis of the interest scheme of two banks, A and B. And now we can simply calculate, calculate the amounts involved in these two plans. And now for bank A, we have to calculate the amounts by using the compound interest formula. We have to pay $40,000 multiplied by one plus, and the adjusted, adjusted interest rate will be 3% over four. And then we take this to the power 20. And by using our calculator, we get the answer $46447. And for bank B, the amount will be $40,000 multiplied by 1 plus 2.4% over 12. This is the adjusted interest rate for bank B. And we have uh, 60 intervals, uh, 60 months for fine calculating the compound interest. And uh, our calculator told us that the answer is 45 Oh, nine, four dollars, and it we we can realize that the amount for bank A is a bit more than the amount we get from bank B. So, therefore, Hugo should invest in bank B. Oh, sorry, sorry, in bank A to get a bigger amount of four six four four seven dollars.